All right, let's go ahead and do quick measurements. Let's do the neck. Yeah, same size. Same, same, same as I kind of expected, honestly. Yeah, all the numbers are large. I'm gonna stop measuring myself, yo. Maybe I'll measure myself week two because I, I want y'all to measure yourself every day, though. But me, I don't even use these sort of measurements. Definitely not daily. But the point of the body measurements is that if you ever stall, you can look at something else, whether it's your body fat percentage reducing or your body measurements getting better and small, you know. You just have multiple ways to measure how well you're doing. So you don't just go 100% based on the number to scale before you make any adjustments, you feel me? Good morning. <laughs> we cracking, open our 30 and 30. First step, weigh ourselves, blood pressure, food injuries, exercise, steps, or running, biking, you know. So that's where we were yesterday. Let's see where we are today. All right, Let's see how we doing today. Got almost a pound of weight gain. This was kind of expected on my part. You know, first three days I expected to be kind of be like this. Now I have a decision to make. Am I gonna make my first adjustment? You know, if I'm if I was to make one adjustment, I would stop eating eggs. You know, I'll just eat my two pounds of meat, you know, and I may even consider one pound. But see, whatever adjustment I make, I would want to make long term. So the eggs is possibly an adjustment for now. That's that's probably the only thing I would change so far, but I still haven't decided yet. Not today, though. It won't start today. It'll definitely start tomorrow. As you can see in the background there, got all my clothes hanging up. All my clothes hanging up because where I live, they don't love me, man. They don't love me. Let's go ahead and get this blood pressure reading in, okay? I'm only doing it one time. All right, so it's still high. Is it even coming down? Maybe slightly a little bit, but nah. I'm still not gonna make any adjustments. You know, I, I've already started reducing the amount of salt I use, you know what I'm saying? But other than that, man. Eh. I'm actually comfortable with my blood pressure being this high, but I'm not saying this is where I want it. You know what I'm saying? All right. So we weighed in, did the blood pressure. Now we're going to do the body measurements. All right. Let's go ahead and do quick measurements. Let's do the neck. Ouch. Yeah, same size. Same, same, same as I kind of expected, honestly. Yeah, all the numbers are large. I'm gonna stop measuring myself, yo. Maybe I'll measure myself week two because I, I want y'all to measure yourself every day, though. But me, I don't even use these sort of measurements. Definitely not daily. But the point of the body measurements is that if you ever stall, you can look at something else, whether it's your body fat percentage reducing or your body measurements getting better and small, you know. You just have multiple ways to measure how well you're doing. So you don't just go 100% based on the number to scale before you make any adjustments, you feel me? Now we're going to go ahead and take a apple cider vinegar. 
and uh, you know the drill. Squirm. Fresh bottle. So as far as food goes, this is our meal plan for today. Meal one, meal two, this will be part of meal one and two or in front of them or behind them, you know, depends on if I feel like I need the energy to perform in the gym. Uh, I ran out of ghee, so this is what I'll be using now. Okay. Should be fine. You know, I was supposed to go to the gym today, but I said today, this morning, that was the plan, but I kind of feel, uh, you know, I'm kind of sore actually. And then it's raining outside, so I'm not gonna be able to go for a walk. You know, I was thinking about it, you know, the bottom of my feet, I did some research on it last night before I went to bed. It's a callus and uh, I'm pretty much gonna use my foot like that. Just gonna use it in moderation, you know. It's really crazy though that this is happening, right? Right now. <laughs> All right, let's weigh it up. Let's weigh it up. Main thing I need to weigh is this tomato. I, I found this tomato in my freezer. Just want to use it up. 142 grams. What's the shallot I'll be using today? 52 grams. We're gonna cut that in half. 11 grams. And then 16 grams. We got this tomato. It's kind of wet, so I don't know. I might need to buy a fresh one or just skip it. Actually, we'll still use it. 31 plus that is 77. Or plus this one, 75. You know, I may buy some, um, some another type of meat. I might not eat turkey twice today, but it's pretty much what we'll be consuming, you know. Plus this butter. Be interesting to see how I like the butter compared to the ghee. It's pretty much the same thing, though, ain't it? All ready to go. Name of Jesus, name of Jesus, almighty name of Jesus. Lord God, it's been a, it's been fun. It's been fun the past three days, you know. I'm on day four. And, uh, man, honestly, I feel great. I feel good. It's hard to sleep. I'm restless because I'm so happy. I'm in euphoria, you know. Reminds me of last year and the year before. But I'm heavier this year, around this time of the year. But I'm not worried. I know you're in control. And I know that I'll persevere because of the strength that you've given me. You know, I pray that um, all the issues I'm having, roadblocks, that you take care of them. And that if I am having them, it's only to slow me down because I'm moving too fast. But other than that, God, I pray you give me the strength to overcome them, learn from them learn things that's going on with my body and just push through. You know, I, I, I can't describe it, but I'm happy. I'm happy, even though today I weigh more than I, <laughs> I weighed uh, three days ago when I started. Um, I'm not worried because I know I could lose five pounds in a day, you know. At any time. And I may never lose five pounds a day. I might lose half a pound a day. But either way, I know that I'm learning something. I know I'm going through something. And I know that you're with me. I pray you forgive me all my sins, all the sins I commit knowingly. I know, Lord, please forgive me my sins. 
I'm grateful to have a guy like you, someone that's been with me here through this weight loss journey, that's been guiding me, that's been blessing me, that's been teaching me, and that's been giving me so much strength, so much energy, unlimited energy, Lord. I go to sleep thinking about moving, exercising, running, lifting, you know, and that's just a beautiful thing. I, pr I pray you continue to give me that youth, that youthfulness. I pray you continue to give me that happiness. I know you're here with me. I can feel you every day walking with me. I'm grateful, Lord, because last night you gave me, I don't even know what to call it, but you gave it to me to run. You know, I ran, I think it was like 12 minutes. And I loved it, I enjoyed it. You know, I took a look at my foot, took pictures, and now I know it's a callus. I pray you heal my callus. I pray that, you know, it doesn't spread, it doesn't get infected, but it heals as if it was never there. And I'm able to run the way I want to be able to run this summer, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. After I pray, I usually receive. So, you know, I wait for a period of time and see what thoughts come over me. I'm thinking no more eggs. Um, as far as diuretics go, uh, I probably would use lemons. I'll probably go get some lemons if if I need it. I'm going I'm to get off the, um, the stevia for a little bit. Um, but I, I do notice that I'll be craving something sweet. But I just want to stick to just meat. So starting tomorrow, hopefully I have the strength. Just meat, you know what I'm saying? And I'm actually going to start buying my drumsticks again. The price of this turkey meat, you know, it's just so high. And I don't really like the taste of the cheaper ones. I like this organic one in particular that I've been buying, Koch's. So I'm thinking I'm going to start checking the prices on drumsticks, start buying drumsticks. And doing what I did last year when I had big success, you know, that, that period of time where I dropped 20 pounds in like three weeks, um, that's all I was eating. I was eating chicken twice a day. Or was it once a day? I don't remember, but I'm going to review that and I may go ahead and try that because it's not that what I'm doing right now isn't working, but is it sustainable, you know, because the money is, it's, it's been expensive. Um, and you know, I'm, Imagine spending, I don't know, $20, $25 for just what you consume in one day and you're not even going out to eat. So I definitely want to bring the price down, you know, under $15 a day. Even that's high, but yeah. I could probably get it under 10 if I want to. I don't know if I'll do it though, not yet. So yeah, I just pulled up to mom's grocery store and let's see what I can find. I feel like the turkey is giving me energy. I just don't feel it. Like I'm not feeling like a boost to my energy. You know what I mean? I'm thinking about reading up on magnesium, but you see how expensive it is. And the pills. Price on ghee. This is crazy everywhere. Prices are crazy everywhere. Prices are crazy everywhere. Someone convinced me about bison, so I'm gonna try it out.
it's almost 11 a.m. I went to get to the gym. Put the protein I'm about to take into use. So I come to, go to the gym. Come back, cook by 12. Let's take a look at what I got. It's two items, really. We got Zevia, you know. And then, we got bison meat. It's a crazy story, you know. Someone in the uh, grocery store recommended bison meat. Random conversation. A few of us around the meat section, and she was just like, sorry to disturb, but do you know what bison meat is? And me, I've seen bison meat plenty of times in mom's. I've seen it inside of the, um, what you call it, the freezer section. So, I, I let them two talk, the other two people. And then I finally said, because they, they didn't know where it was. Probably didn't even know bison meat. And then I was like, you know, I seen it in the freezer section. She said, oh, okay. She, she started ranting. But, yeah, it's crazy how shit happens. So, now I'm going to try bison meat. This shit is expensive, you know. Each one of these is like $13. But, you know, I wasn't feeling too happy about eating turkey every day. So, we're going to have some bison meat today. See how that tastes. We'll see. It's 11 15. Off to the gym now. I think to, tonight I'll go for a walk. Maybe even on a treadmill if it's wet outside. Otherwise, I'll just walk around my neighborhood for like one hour, two hours. I'm glad I took that lady's recommendation. I would say, price-wise, ground bison taste, I mean, costs just as much as um like a ribeye steak. Well, nah, because ground bison is like $12 a pound. Ribeye steak be like $20 a pound. But anyways, prime anyway, prime ribeye steak. This is just magnificent. I added butter. I probably didn't even need to add butter. This thing is just magnificent. A plus, 100%. I'm glad. I'm glad I, I crossed paths with that lady. That was a gift from God. <laughs> On the low, it was. I went to the cinema. Just got back. Um, what's left on the agenda for me today? It's a little bit of grooming. Well, first I got to cook and eat. A little bit of grooming, possibly rest, and then I got to try and get these 20,000 steps in. You know. Um, it doesn't look like it's going to rain anymore today, so I might take a walk outside. Um, or I might just go to the gym and hit the treadmill. I'm pretty much done with strength training for the day. Um, tomorrow, I have a dentist appointment, and then I'm going to go visit um, my sister. And it's crazy because my dentist appointment was supposed to be in two weeks, but they called me today and asked to reschedule it for earlier, so I said, yeah. So it's at 11 a.m. You know, normally I was breaking my fast at 12. My eating window was 12 to 4. So I'm going to be at the dentist. I won't have time to come back home because my sister is really close to the dentist. My dentist is like 45 minutes away. She's my life hood dentist, so I just keep using her. So basically, it's either after the dentist appointment, I find somewhere that has hot food where I can just buy meat, eat the meat, Okay. Um, there might be a, uh, what should we call it? An Amish market. I don't know if they're open tomorrow, but if they're open tomorrow, I'm good. I'll just go to the Amish market, get, get my meat from there. Um, otherwise I have to find somewhere or I'll go to my sister's house, come all the way back home and then break my fast, which I'm okay with doing, you know, I'm used to fasting. So that's pretty much the plan. And then tomorrow morning, I'm not too sure if I will do strength training 
I might do a bike ride, but it all depends on how much sleep I get and how I feel tomorrow morning before I go to the dentist. Tripod. I gave away all my other tripods, like three of them, so I'm sticking. I got a new company now. It's weird that this thing came already curved like this. Hmm. Hopefully it wasn't. Hopefully it's not used. It looks, it looks fresh though. They don't make them like they used to. This is UB size. I, I've had two of these. I love them, but this is the new model. I don't like it. I don't like the legs. The legs suck. And then this head, it doesn't spin 360. See this? See this head? It spins. It spins. So that means you can rotate your camera 360. On this one, you can rotate 360, but you can't rotate 360 if you're in vertical. So if I'm, if my phone is mounted vertically, okay, like so. Now I can't do 360. I'm locked in. But uh, hopefully with this one is different. I gotta set it up first and test it. I just came back from cinema. In the past week, I've watched Doctor Strange, The Northman, and today I watched uh, Fantastic Beasts. I still kind of want to watch Bad Guys. I'm not, I like the first Sonic movie, but I don't know if I want to catch that in the theater. But yeah, sometimes I just go to the theater and I sleep for like the first hour of the movie and I wake up and I'm all into it, then I go home. I don't know, man. Adult life is strange, but that's how I be. Empty theaters, nice seats. So yeah, just got back, finished eating. More bison. Bison is so delicious. Oh my gosh. And um, last but not least, yeah, I'm gonna come out here. If I have energy, I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling kind of weak. If I have energy, or if I'm able to take a short nap, that's cool too. I want to see if I get these twenty thousand steps in for the day. I'll be so happy if I get it in, but. The way my head feels right now, I'm going to prioritize the way my head feels over the steps. So after I finish cutting my hair, I'm going to see if I can lay down and sleep. If I sleep throughout the night, awesome. If I wake up in an hour, even better. It's only uh, 745 right now. You know, if I wake up by 10 p.m., go to the gym, use the treadmill, get the rest of my steps in. Or just walk around my neighborhood like I did last night for the last two hours of yesterday night. So it's 1015 p.m. I'm getting ready for my night run. I hope to get out the door by 10.30. I'm ready to go for the most part. Just got to pick out what shoes I'm going to wear. I put on running socks. I put on running socks. So you know what that means. We're going we're gonna to get this to go. Six miles. Got to take my headlight too. Yeah, yeah. You know, if I run, I'm not even going to count steps. I'm just going to, you know, give it my all with the run. Take it from there, you know. I don't know if I'm ready, but I'm ready. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Oh shit, is the battery dead? Shit. All right, so I'm about to go for a night run. I'm out of uh, battery, so I'm gonna go to 7-Eleven, which is right across the street real quick. Pulling up 7-Eleven now. Package required. This cost me twelve ninety nine for eight pack. Seven Eleven prices. She gotta do what she gotta do sometimes, you know. Just finished my night run. Six miles. First one of the year. Felt good. The calluses, they become numb after a while. Running, biking, heavy, heavy weights. It's like the only thing that makes me tired nowadays. A lot of that. I need a lot of that. Name is Jesus, name is Jesus. Oh, my name is Jesus. Little guy, thank you for 
for taking me out and bringing me in safety today. I'm grateful for all the strength and energy you've given me on this water, on this journey, this weight loss journey, this 30 and 30. Please bless everyone that's riding with me. Thank you for always riding with me. Please forgive us of all our sins, all our sins we commit no name lovingly. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. We share the grace, amen.